Okay. Hi, we're at 9,000 feet in the Logan area backcountry, and it's March 20th, 2013. Hi, it's Toby with the Utah Avalanche Center, and here I am at the bottom of uh, Boiler Bowl, or a little ways up, and uh, we're just walking our way up. We're going to be real careful when we get up a little higher here, because it gets steeper. And it's windy up there. I'm with my two good friends, Darren and Josh, and we had to snowmobile and hike to get up here <coughs> in the winter. And uh, of course, um, it's not always easy to get up and find powder this time of year. All right. So you can see we're starting to spread out a bit as it gets steeper here. The train's getting steeper, and even though the danger is fairly low, we're spreading it out so that we don't all get caught in the same uh, wind slab avalanche. And wind slabs uh, are our biggest uh, worry today, really. The snow underneath is really well set up. And I'll show you what that snow looks like. We've got some, uh, we've got some new snow here. And, uh, and then new snow below that with a lot of grapple in it. And this is from uh, over the weekend. Had a really windy storm and uh, <coughs> made all this, this grapple and pulled up in places. With a couple inches of that underneath new snow here. And you can see there's now oh, probably two inches of new snow on top of this uh, grapply snow from the weekend. We stayed pretty well separated because we were worried about wind slabs. Up here along the ridge, we encountered windy conditions and lots of drifting. Even though the danger was fairly low, we still skied the slope one person at a time while the rest of us watched from a safe area. And we found pretty good conditions, shallow powder conditions. The snow was nice enough that we decided we'd have to go up and try it one more time. Just skiing along the ridge, I was able to trigger little pieces of cornice that would slide down into the bowl below and make sure nobody was down below us before I did this. But it's a pretty fun way to, to check the snowpack. Well, I think I've seen enough of the snow conditions and it's time to start that long commute home.